In this video, I will be going over fancy shawl dancing with a focus on how to use your shawl. My name is Deanne Hupfield and I come from the Ojibwe Nation. I have been teaching powwow dance in my community for the last 17 years and I want to share all of those, all of the best strategies that I've learned over that time with you all. So first things first, if you are wanting to become a powwow dancer, the very first thing you need to do is connect with your people. What nation are you from? Who are your elders? Who are your teachers? If you don't live next to them, you can probably just add them on Facebook or hit them up on Instagram. There's so many different ways we can connect with our people nowadays. I, I love reading the old books because I've always been urban. So I read, I read Basil Johnson, I read Liam Simpson, I follow James Vukulich on social media. He provides lots of language teachings. The three main songs that you need to learn if you want to be a fancy shawl dancer are a straight song, crow hop, and a double beat. And again, I, I have done a tutorial on those dances and you can check that out here or there, wherever, somewhere up there. So I've realized that I haven't gone over that much in depth about how to use a shawl or how to dance with a shawl. So that's what we're going to be focusing on today. If you want to make your own shawl, you want to make sure that the length or the width of your shawl it goes fingertip to fingertip and then add another five to ten inches of material and then you want to make the length from your nape of your neck to around mid thigh so mine is around 30 inches by 70 maybe 75 inches and my ribbon is around 24 inches or 25 inches and when you hold it you want to make sure you're holding it halfway down the side and then you're making a triangle here If you make a triangle, you can keep it tight around your neck and then it won't fall off while you're dancing. You don't want to hold your shawl like a tiny tot holding from here. Because this way, as I start dancing, this is going to fall right off my shoulders. So this is the best way I like to hold my shawl. This beautiful shawl was made by my friend Garrett Henry. Garrett is Gucci. He is from Winnipeg, Manitoba. So let's go over our traveling spin on the two beat. So it's one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And full time it looks like this. One, two, one, two, one, two. When you're doing your spins, you want to try doing it both ways because one way is going to be more natural than the other way. And you want to make sure you're nice and balanced. One, two. We could do a spin on a single beat. So you're just hopping from foot to foot to foot. And it's like one, 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 one. And your arms are just going up and down. So that looks like this. One, 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 one. Other way. One, 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 one. We can do the front cross spin. So I take my right leg and I cross it over my front and then I spin forward. So it's over, spin, over, spin. And full time it looks like this. Over, spin. Stepping back, so you just step back, spin, back, spin, back, spin, back, spin, or the other way, back, spin, back, spin, back, spin, back, spin. One of my favorite dance steps to do is like a shawl pop. So I'm stepping forward, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. And full time it looks like this. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. You can move forward or backwards. So the back one, backward way, you're just leading with your foot. One, two, one, two, one, 
two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. You could do a spin on the spot where you just keep your feet together and you're spinning in a circle and your arms are just going all crazy like this. It's up and down and that looks like this. The grapevine is a really good traveling move. Um, you're basically walking to the side and whatever foot follows takes turns going in front of you and behind you. And it looks like this. Over, front, over, back, over, front, over, back. I'll go the other way. Over, front, over, back, over, front, over, back. And full time it looks like this. Over, front, over, back, over, front, over, back, over, front, over, back. And the other way, over front, over back, over front, over back. So now I want to show you how to throw all those dance moves together. I'm going to do the traveling spin, the single beat 111 spin, I'll do the front cross spin, the back cross spin, and I'll do a grapevine. <laughs> That is all I have planned for today. Um, if you haven't already, hit subscribe, hit that bell to be notified when I post new content. Uh, if you've already subscribed, thank you so much. I wanna be here for you. I wanna support you to get you dancing. So just hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you wanna see next because I'm just winging it. <laughs> no, seriously though, I wanna just do my best for you. So just let me know what you need and I will do my best to provide.